What's up, Stitch Yang? Welcome or welcome back to another video with The Stitch Life. It is a new year. We are using new products, and this is my first time makeup video for 2023. So I wanted to start this video off with a bare face. Well, I have my brows on, but I wanted to start this video off with a bare face so you guys could glow up with me. So before we start this video off, if you haven't already, make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below. Subscribe and join the Stitch Gang down below as well. Listen, if you're not a part of the Stitch Gang, if you're not a Stitch Gal in 2023, you're doing something wrong. So make sure you guys subscribe down below and don't forget to also follow me on instagram and on tiktok at the stitch life now that we got the intro out the way let's go ahead and get into today's video so i'm very excited listen i have new hair new nails and i have some new makeup as well so i'm definitely feeling the 2023 spirit so i got a few new things i'm using some of my favorites as well in today's video but i have a few new things that i'm going to be testing out in today's video with you guys and i'm also going to be chatting with you guys just a little bit too telling you guys what i've been up to so i've already primed my face i'm actually i actually used a newer primer this one is coming from Merit. This is the Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I've been loving this. I'm not going to lie. They sent me this in PR and I've really been liking this product. If I still have a discount code, I'll leave it down below. Definitely check it out. It gives glowy skin, but it doesn't make you oily. It just gives glow from within, in my opinion. So yeah, that's what I'm using today to prime the face. And then for foundation today, I'm actually mixing my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter with my Dior Face and Body. This is the number 6W and this is number 7 and that's going to give us our base. So what have you guys been up to? Y'all kind of already know what I've been up to. Like I shared a few things that I was doing after after Vlogmas. But I definitely did create a digital vision board. This is my third year making a digital vision board and I love it. This is actually my second year making one on my iPad though and I love it. I don't typically like to speak on my goals but I'm not gonna lie to you guys there's a lot of things that I did not check off my vision board for last year so of course I had to run it back for this year and this year we're working and, and this year we're definitely gonna be checking them, checking them off but I did share some of my goals on my January vision board. So I'll go ahead and insert it right here because I did create a, make a little TikTok slash Instagram bell. So I'll go ahead and insert it right here so you guys can see. But I usually make all my vision boards on Canva. If you guys want to see how I create my vision boards, let me know. I do do one for every single month and then I also make one for the whole year. So let me know if you guys want to see how I create those because they're very much so aesthetically pleasing and I really work to make sure that mine looks really good but it also focuses on my goals so let me know if you guys want to see a video of how I do that but I also picked up some new brushes I only have two new brushes but I picked these up from Marshalls and they're coming from the brand Japon Seek so I picked this one up this I believe is their this is their 962 brush it's basically like a flat brush you could use this for powder foundation liquid foundation so i picked that up and i also picked up this one this is another japan seek brush i'm going to be using this later on this is the 961 again i found these at marshall's and this would be great for a blush this would be great for a cream contour powder powder contour as well I'm just going to do a quick spritz with my charlotte tilbury brought her into the new year as well if you know you know and i'm just going to spritz that on i do like to spread my foundation just a little bit, especially since I mixed these two. So as I was saying, I did a lot of um, goal planning, but I also spent a lot of time to relax off camera. So I did vlog when I could or when I felt like I wanted to vlog, but I wasn't devoting my days to vlogging because I wanted to take a little break. I was off from work and off from YouTube. So I acted like I was, and I watched a lot of shows on Netflix, y'all. So I watched Wednesday. I feel like everyone and their mother was talking about Wednesday. It's based off, I believe it's the Adams Family. So I've never been an Adams Family lover. I've never really like gotten into that movie. Everyone was talking about Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm off. I usually never have time to watch Netflix, Netflix shows. I usually never have time to watch TV series because when I do have time to watch something, I'm watching YouTube, I'm watching my friends' videos, I'm watching some of my favorite creators' YouTube videos. So I typically never have time to watch a TV series. But I had the time, right? So I went ahead and started Wednesday. And at first I was like, 
I don't know what to expect because I never really got into this goth gory family, but I definitely love Wednesday. She reminded me of myself because she's very much so sarcastic, very much so witty. And I really feel like the writer really did an amazing job. I just loved her personality and I loved that she was still, well, I don't, don't want to give up too much of the show, but I loved her personality. I loved the overall cast of Wednesday and I loved the plot as well. It kind of remind me, reminded me of Stranger Things. If you guys watch Stranger Things, then you know. But yeah, it kind of reminded me of Stranger Things, but I loved it. And I feel like they chose the perfect the perfect actress to portray the character. So maybe, just maybe, I'll get into the Addams Family a little bit more. I do think they have a movie, correct me if I'm wrong. But today I'm gonna to be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Matte Concealer. I think that's what it's called. I'll just be making up names. Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one is in the shade Almond. I actually am running low on this. Might. I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it in the future, but I'm not gonna repurchase it right away because I have so many other concealers that I need to run through. But I'm gonna mix it with my Sephora Best Skin Ever. This is in the shade 35N. Yeah, this is, like I'm scraping, scraping the tube to try to get some stuff out of here. So I really like this one as a good under eye um, concealer. The 35N from Sephora is a little bit brighter. I do enjoy the two together. And then for my contour today, I'm gonna to be using the LYS Cream Bronzer in the shade Worthy. Chisel out the cheek just a little bit. I'm going in with the exact same brush and I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out. I also watched The Recruit, which was, I watched The Recruit in addition to what was that other show called? Treason. Both were espionage slash spy series and both were kind of action related as well. And I definitely recommend both of them. I think I enjoyed The Recruit a little bit more than I enjoyed Treason, but both of them were really nice shows to watch. I definitely recommend those if you like action shows slash like spy shows. They were both like roughly five to eight episodes long. Ooh, okay, contour. Contour is coming through and I do like this brush. Do you guys see how easily this is blending my products out? So definitely pick up the Japan Seek brushes at Marshall slash TJ Maxx. It's my first time buying any of them, but I've heard really good things. So I was like, let me go ahead and pick these up. I needed a new foundation brush and I needed a, definitely needed a new contour brush. So I went ahead and picked them up. And I wanna say they both ran me like $18. Then I'm going with my e.l.f. sponge. This is my favorite girl. I just had to clean this one though. <laughs> Make sure you're using clean sponges in the new year. Actually, I actually am going to throw, throw out a few of my sponges and just go ahead and replenish, get new sponges. This is a pretty good sponge to pick up. It's pretty inexpensive as well. You can get it at Tar Target. You can get it at some of your drugstores. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it on the e.l.f. site. Options, okay? And I want to say this is probably like five or six dollars. So I'm just gonna blend this out. Let me focus real quick. Focus up. Mm-hmm. This just gives a really good highlight. The two mixed together, if you have both of these concealers, definitely mix them together. The NARS Creamy Radiant, or you can even use the L'Oreal, because I feel like that's a good dupe for the NARS. The L'Oreal Infallible. You can mix that one with the Sephora Best Skin Ever. Really, really nice finish and coverage is there. This is basically like my everyday makeup routine plus a few new products. So far I haven't used any new products with you guys and the new products are not going to alter the look in any way shape or form because they're not complexion products. They're more so like highlighters, eyeshadows and things of that nature. So this is what the face is looking like. I'm going back in with my foundation brush just to blend the edges together and this is how we look so far so now it's time to set going in with my tried and true one size setting powder listen these little travel sizes last for a little while especially for something like a powder it's going to take you a little while to run through a powder so if you really don't want to go ahead and splurge on a full size product get the travel size i've had this for months and this is like one of my go-to's like i haven't used my laura mercier in months like literal months maybe like five months because i'm using my one size beauty I'm just going in and setting. I don't bake, I just press it right in. Baking is a thing of the past. I did, however, see that some girls are pressing their powders in and then going in with a second layer to bake. I don't necessarily need to bake because my products typically don't move on my face. Y'all know my um, 
nose is always sweating but bacon is not gonna help it sweat it's just gonna cause it to sweat even more so we're not gonna do that that technique is not necessarily is not for me we love a flawless face at the end of the day so whatever technique works for you definitely use it but try it out if you have like more oily skin or you find that your products are moving maybe see if that works for you so now that we look like a powdered donut i'm going to switch over and get into eyeshadow so i'm using this pat mcgrath palette today if you guys watched my sephora vib sale haul then you saw when i picked it well actually yeah then you should... did i pick this up during the haul or when they had that extra 20 percent off I think it's after when they had the extra 20% off. I think I shared this with you guys in a Vlogmas video. But I got this palette and I got it for a very good price because it was originally retailing for 80 something dollars and I got it for like half off. So definitely, definitely make sure you guys are stocking the apps because things will go on sale. Look at this palette. This is my second Pat McGrath palette. They live up to the hype. I'll tell you that right now. Eyeshadows are very, very buttery. So y'all ready to see what inside looks like? Mm. Ah, featuring my setup <laughs> I don't know what look I want to do today I'm not going to do anything crazy but I have these eyeshadow palettes so I need to use them what are we going to do I feel like I want to go for a pink look today definitely using this one here this one right here and these two browns right here as well and maybe this in the inner corner let's go for it i'm gonna use this pink i'm going right in with that pink shade and i'm gonna blend that into the crease yeah see the pigment made for the brown girls okay shout out to auntie pat the auntie pat that pink is super pretty and you know, anything you do to the left side, you must do to the right. So I'm doing so. I'm adding it to both sides. And I'm just going in with my brush to blend out the edges. Same brush. Then I'm going in with my flat brush. And I'm going to pick up this pink shimmer shade right here. I'm not even going to spray my brush. Let's just see what she does on her own. And I'm putting that on the crease. Subtle shimmer, but... I'm here for it. Not my crease, I'm sorry, my lid. I'm packing that in my lid. Not much fallout either. That's freaking cute. I don't even need to do anything else. <laughs> like, do I even need to do anything else? Like, well, let's let's be real about it. But I am. I am. I'm not gonna tap out there. Go back with a little bit more of that pink in the crease just to blend it out a little bit. Then I'm going to tap into this brown right here, add it to the outer corner. And I'm slightly working it into the outer V just a little bit I don't want to do too much just a little bit that's where we're at that is where we are at minimum effort maximum enjoyment all 2023 <laughs> so that's what the eyes look like are y'all feeling it it's giving drama come on it's 22 2023 2023 with some drama I've been saying 2022 I need to like, get myself together we're in the new year stush we're in the new year before I Stop with the eyes. I'm going to go in with this shimmer right here and just pop it into the inner corner. Just a little bit. Okay. So that's done. I don't think I have any shimmer or eyeshadow in my under eye, but let me just pat it away really quickly. So it's about that time for blush. I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place Blush to Rouge Volume 5 palette this is what it looks like inside i've been using this as my mirror this whole time i'm gonna go i'm gonna just go ahead and mix both of them why not why not what harm can be done both of them together look really really good but yeah in addition to me binge watching tv shows i've been making a lot of charcuterie boards like a lot of too many charcuterie boards i'm gonna turn into a charcuterie board i really like charcuterie boards i love cheese that's one reason why i probably i'm not gonna say i could never be vegan but it would be pretty hard because I love cheese. I like spreads with cheese and crackers and things of that sort. So I've really been enjoying making those. Highly recommend you guys make your own charcuterie board. And it doesn't even have to be like with cheeses and with cheeses and fruit and meat. I've seen people do sushi charcuterie boards. I've, I've seen dessert charcuterie boards all over TikTok. It's definitely giving self-care. And I really have been enjoying making my charcuterie boards. If you guys follow me on Instagram at the Stush Life, then you already know I've been charcuterie board <laughs> charcuterie boarding it up. The blush is blushing. It's giving lots of blush. It's giving flushed cheeks. It's getting flirty. But listen, once I go ahead and add my pressed powder, 
it's going to tone it down a little bit so i realized that with adding more blush than you typically do it's okay i'm going in with blush and i'm also adding a little bit on my nose as well because we love that look omg i totally forgot to use this ah! oh my god i totally forgot to use this i literally just realized because i picked up my powder contour my powder bronzer and i saw my beauty blender pocket power pocket puff it's fine i'm gonna do my makeup with you guys i'm gonna use that the next time that i do my makeup because i really want to, because i really want to try it on camera with you guys to let you guys know if it's a hype if the hype is real or not because the girls have been raving and raving and raving and raving and raving about that beauty blender sponge so beauty blender puff but now i'm gonna go in with my juvia's place bronzed bronzy deep dark contour bronzer and i'm going to mix the two why not? And I'm also going to use my Japon Zeke sponge that I just shared with you guys. So I'm just going to tap into both of these gently and just, and I love this brush. I like how it just hugs the cheekbone and then you know what you do on one side, you must do to the next. I'm going to add some to my jawline as well. I also went out to a club. You guys saw that in my last vlog and I haven't been to a club in a while. I do lounges. I do um, bars. I could do little restaurants that have a little hookah or whatever. But listen, the club scene, I'm over it. But I'm not going to lie. I, do, I did have a lot of fun when I went out with my friends on New Year's Eve Eve. I typically don't like the club scene anymore just because I went to like so many clubs when I was away at college and I'm just at a place in my life where I don't want I'm not trying to be in nobody's club it's not to say I'm not gonna go I won't go every now and then but I can't do the rah-rah-rah I can't do the loud music I can't do the darkness <laughs> like and to be honest in New York City we go to the club at like two o'clock that's when the party's really starting really jumping in at that time I'm in my rapid eye movement okay third stage of sleeping so like at that time it's like what we're going out no i'm not coming <laughs> but i did have a lot of fun when i went out to the club with my friends the other day while new year's eve we had a blast it was fun but i can't see myself doing it every weekend that was a more love story give me a day party give me a give me a day party give me a brunch give me a lounge but i have to like mentally prepare myself for the lounge <laughs> like two weeks in advance like okay you're going out past your bedtime like that's where i'm at in life which is crazy which is scary but that's just the reality of it all like i'm not into the club scene anymore i'm just not into it i did it all when i was in college again i'll go but i'm not that excited about going like i need to know in advance that that's what we're doing this weekend so now i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my powder the face is sitting the face is sitting, if I do say so myself. I'm, woo! You was about to fall, and I cannot afford for this cap to break anymore because it's already broken. But I'm going in with my tried and true Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Long name. Still can't get it down pat. And I'm using my LYS powder brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and press this in and set the face. I just press this, press this all over my face and i do go over my under eye and my blush so it does tone it down a little bit see cute and now for my highlighter i'm actually going to be using something that i received in, i received from influencer i tell you guys all about influencer but it's a new year so i have the time to tell you guys about it again so influencer is a app they are not sponsoring this video but i need you guys to reach out to them and tell them how much i tell you guys about influencer but if you're new here influencer is an app that where you can leave reviews on some of your favorite things some products some th items that you use on an everyday basis from listerine to setting spray to alcohol to even apparel you guys and every now and then they will send surveys and depending on how you answer the survey if they feel like you're a great candidate to re to review a product that might be coming out they will send you over a product for free and that is how I actually received this I've received a few different things from influencer if you guys aren't new to my channel then you know I've received full-size foundation for real devices this is just one of the latest things that they sent over to me and this is the Charlotte Tilbury glow glide face face architect highlighter so this is what it looks like mm-hmm 
and I can actually talk about this product now because it is out on Sephora but they sent it over so that I can try it out so that I could try it out test it out and leave my own reviews on retailer sites that they want me to review them on I have tried it already and I do like it but today you guys will see how it performs on my face so let me go ahead and open it up again this is in the shade gilded glow and I'm gonna be using my Sephora Pro brush this is the fan brush this is what the product looks like it comes with little stars on it can y'all see so I'm just gonna go ahead and dust that on the face give us a little glow mm -hmm. Charlotte never really disappoints like this is a brand that I will continue to buy because her products always speak for themselves. And I do believe this comes in different shades. This is the one that they sent me. I think this is the one that I picked out because in the survey they will show you the product but they won't show you what brand is coming from. They'll just ask you what shade best fits you or what shade you would like to try. So that's how I received this product. I didn't know what I was getting until I got it. So yeah, let me finish highlighting. Add a little bit to my nose, a little bit to my brow bone, and the other side of my cheek. Mm hmm that glow is impeccable okay okay so that's the highlighter you guys we filling it this one is not available on Sephora so again I'll link it in addition to all the products that I use today I don't think I mentioned that but all the products that I use today can be found down below in the description box same thing as last year okay and if you didn't know all the products linked and if you didn't know all the products that I link are typically going to be affiliate links so if you do shop through those links I do earn a small coin so if you're in the business of supporting my business we appreciate you thank you guys so so much in advance now it's time to spray the face down right I'm not skipping a step no let's spray the face down and I'm just gonna go in with the same um, the same brush that I used to pat my powder in and I'm just gonna press the setting spray in because we don't want little watermarks all over our face let's press it in please I'm going I'm going with my rare beauty mascara this is beat up I do very much so love this mascara but the packaging is like a matte has a matte finish on it so all your makeup gets on it okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my mascara whoa whoa I just put in new contacts we cannot afford I'm scared to get in my eyes. Let me not be cute. Let me open up a mirror. Let's not act like you're illegal. Let's not act like you're not blind, Stish. I'm really just bringing back my real moles. I have a lot of moles over here. I'm not highlighting all of them, but some of them. Now for lippy. I'm very excited. I'm going to apply lashes in a second, but I'm going in with my Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Liquid Lip Liner. This has really become one of my favorite liquid my favorite brown lip liners because I do love the MAC, I think it's cork lip liner, but I find that it is a little bit, it has more of a red undertone. This is a true brown liner from Rare Beauty and it's cheaper than MAC, <laughs> but it's really good. So I did receive this lipstick, this mini MAC lipstick as a gift. This is in the shade Toasted. It's a powder kiss lipstick. I got this as a gift. It's so cute, wait. How stinking cute is this? And this is how it looks. To be honest, I feel like, I know people really like full size products, but something like this, I feel like I'm never gonna finish. Like I have so many lip products at this point. Like I'm okay with receiving a mini lip product because they last for a while. If uh, Mini lip gloss, maybe not, cause I run through a, a, a lip gloss. I'm a glossy gal. But a mini lipstick, let's see how this one looks. Okay, he's cute. I thought she would have been a little bit lighter, but I'm loving the color payoff nonetheless. But, but, but I am going in with a lip gloss. I'm going in with this Makeup by Mario Pro Volume Lip Gloss. This was also on sale. I got this after Vlogmas ended. So, we're going in with it today. This is the, uh, this is the shade Golden Nude. Again, a Makeup by Mario lip gloss. My first Makeup by Mario lip product. Let's see what it does as a topper. I want a little bit of nude in here so just, just, a, just, a, just a little bit of nude I have my artist couture lip gloss this is in the shade uncensored 2.0 still one of my favorites don't know how I haven't finished this product as yet 
but I'm not in any rush to finish it either. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this. Nude it up just a little bit, just to match the eyes. That's more like it, my friend. That is more like it. <laughs> that is more like it. Now, if you're not a lash girl, you don't have to put lashes on, but y'all know me. Y'all know I'm a lash girl. So I'm gonna go in with my Capra NYC lashes. I'm actually going in with the style SHEEO today. They've been used, not abused, but they've been used a few times. So this is what they look like. They're not positioned properly in the box, but you get the gist. You get, you get the gist. This is what they look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them on and I'll be right back with the slow moves. I'm gonna also change my top, do my edges and all that good stuff. And I'll be right, right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look, my first look of 2023. This is actually the first time that I've done my makeup since the new year has started. So definitely comment down below and let me know how you guys are feeling it. I love my makeshift top that I throw on as well. These are actually pants that I <laughs> turned in. I just put my arms through the legs and that was that. I really like the black and white vibe with the little pop of color on the eyes and the white scrunchie from 7 Mia as well. Make sure you guys are shopping 7 Mia. But I love the vibe that it's giving. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing my makeup with you guys. I thought filming this video with would have been a little bit harder because it is my first sit down video since before Vlogmas. So it's been a while since I sat down and just chopped it up with you guys. But filming today's video was a breeze. So I'm super excited to film a lot more content for you guys in this new year. I hope you guys enjoyed testing out new makeup products with me in today's video. If you did, make sure you leave your a thumbs up down below be sure to also comment down below and let me know how you guys are feeling the look comment down below with either a purple or a pink heart so i know you guys enjoyed today's look make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel as well down below become a stushy gal and also share this video with one of your friends someone that you think might enjoy my content that helps us grow and don't forget to also follow me on instagram and on tiktok at the stush live and until the next video i'll see you guys all later bye guys